Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Um, we have a special video today, guys, because two things are going on. Well, actually like more things than two, three or four. Anyways, how are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys are well. Um, at the moment, I am just chilling, man. I'm chilling on the market. I'm watching some icons, just kind of doing my thing. I think I've decided that I need to get Sador for my team this upcoming weekend. I think. I think it's going to be Sador. I'm not sure yet. We also got a patch today, so I want to go over that with you guys. Um, I think that's important to go over. And then we'll talk about the market today because the market is doing really well today. And the market will do really well if EA don't drop anything in two hours from now. Now, if EA do drop something in two hours from now, well, then we're in a little bit of trouble. But we'll see if they do that. I, I don't know if they're going to do that today. We'll, we'll see what type of what type of character EA is feeling like today. They just had a holiday. So, you know, maybe they come back from the holiday. They go into the office. And these guys are, are super duper happy. Who knows, man? Maybe they're, I don't know, man. They, they, they always, after holidays, they go crazy. So we'll see how crazy they go um, in this upcoming week. Guys, if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up. I'm kind of watching some icons right now just to kind of get the, the, the hang of the icon market. Not too much there, but you guys can see that obviously I've added uh, a ton of icons to my watch list. Just kind of to watch. It's always good with icons when you're trying to figure out how to trade them to just watch prices. Don't look at graphs, just actually look at the cards uh, and figure out what the demand is on a certain hour. Use graphs to understand where the guy was, but don't use them strictly to know, hey, you know, is this guy a good buy? Is this guy not a good buy? Did want to start off the video today with some mega packs for you guys. I had two, uh, this is from a draft win that I played last night. I'm liking playing this game, man. The draft is really responsive. So it might even in like my off time, I'm playing draft and all that. So we get a walkout. Oh my God, who's this gonna be? You're be Suarez. Come on, Suarez. Oh, all right. So Cavani, boom, 88 rated. We actually just packed a walkout from draft, which is dope. Um, my draft reward was two mega packs and a premium gold pack. So I was pretty happy with it. I was like, okay, that's not bad. So. That'll sell. Um, the question is, do I want to keep him in the club for like SBCs? Ooh, and Socrates. That's a great pack because Socrates is like 10,000 coins. So him, we'll definitely take the money on Socrates. The question is, do we take the money on Cavani as well? That I'm not sure about. Cavani, we could keep in the club like for a fodder, uh, you know, for an SBC. I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of like lazy list him. I know he's about 23K, so I'll list him at 25. And if he sells, he sells. And then... Uh, oh, I should have kept him for the League 1. Okay, please don't sell. And Socrates, okay, I did the Premier League. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot, bro. I should have... And an 85! What a pack, man. Okay, we actually have... Wait, what? Okay, that is a rigged draft pack. Okay, GGZA, thank you so much for that pack. And then we got a second Mega Pack. Yo, that's an insane draft pack. We just made like 40, 50k from that pack. Are we going to get another walkout? Okay, I was about to say, two walkouts is rigged. German, center mid, Goretzka? Oh, they trolled me so bad. I think that's going to be Sammy Kadira. Sammy Kadira, man. Sammy Kadira. Sammy Kadira. Nothing crazy in that pack. I thought we were about to get two walkouts in a row. All right, so I'm just kind of looking for some players that might help me a little bit. I don't know who's going to help me and who's not going to help me. I'm just going to discard him because we already have his 83 in the club. And my trans list is full. So... I wanted to keep you guys updated on my objectives progress, okay? Because my objective progress is not going too hot. Look, it's so hard to do these at 1900. It is so freaking hard. I did it yesterday. It took me about two hours to do one of them. I think I'm going to try to do two per week. So I'm going to try to do one of the other ones this week and then two of the other ones next week. I am doing this, man. And I know you guys could put in the comments down below, Nick, why don't you just trade for it? Because guys, this is a unique grind, okay? We've not had this kind of grind ever. And you know what? I'm just going to be flexing on you guys when I do all these. Um, I'm going to save the squad battles ones till another week, I think. I don't know when I'm going to do them, but I think I'll save them for another week. Not really sure yet. I'm just going to kind of wait on those. As for the market, again, guys, as I said, the market will do very well today. If there's no at pack supply, it will go up a lot. If there is a pack supply, the market's in trouble, right? It's going to dip back down again. The golds right now are finally seeing a really, really nice rise at the moment. Um, that rise is going to be a 100, 100,000% rise. Um, countered by any any pack supply at 1 p.m. today. Just giving you guys um, the heads up there. As for overnight, all I've really done, to be honest, is 
just kind of had a few cards that looked low. I think I picked up 10 to 12 cards before I went to sleep and I actually didn't even list them. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Today as well, we were also going to look at the patch notes for you guys. We'll talk about those a little bit. What I did was I was looking at players last night just with hunters and, and shadows. So for example, Chiellini, right? This guy on the market right now is 34,000 coins. So I picked him up at 32 yesterday with a shadow and that's a potential flip at 38. You guys can see the profit margins. I talked about this yesterday. I'll probably be using this method for another week or so and then I'll move on from it. Juan Bisaka, right? Got him with a shadow. Even though it's an OTW, it's still going to work. That one's not as big on profit. Um, the biggest tip to you guys who are trading with position change cards, with cards with chem styles, you guys need to make sure that you're trading and listing these cards on the hour. It's important to make sure that your cards are being listed on that specific hour because the thing is, you're going to have a lot more lazy buyers if you're constantly listing on that hour. If you're not listing on that hour, you're in trouble, right? Because when you're listing on the hour, you just have way higher of a chance of somebody that's lazy buying your card rather than overnight. So I always list these cards for the given hour rather than like something overnight, right? So none of these margins are that crazy. As you guys can see, like a Saul at 14.5, that's only going to be a thousand coins profit. Some of them are a little bit crazier than others, right? A potential profit in Socrates here is like a nice a K, K and a half. Some of the lower tier ones, if you trade with like these ones, like Pepe, these ones can make you like 2,000 coins. And then this one is really interesting because Brant at the moment is 10K, but this one has been put to a center forward and has a hunter. So a lot of the time with like massive position changes, like the pie right here, you can just get a lot more for your buck out of the ones that have been moved a ton. So I just want to keep showing you guys every day that this is a really good trading method and just showcasing it on my videos, showing you guys how efficient it is and how effective it is. Let me take a look at Gold Martial at the moment. So Gold Martial at the moment, 55,000 coins, right? So hopefully we get a 60 sale with the Hunter. Something to point out with point out to you guys as well that I that I wanted to discuss today before we even look at the patch notes. Um, so EA have come out and said they're patching fitness. So fitness, I, I know it's a very sad time for us because a lot of us like the fact that we can just pull up into games and not have to use fitness. But EA have come out and said we are going to patch fitness. So I recommend to you guys, now you don't have to be investors, but even if you're investing or whatever you're doing, if you're playing the game, buy some fitness cards. And I'm, and I'm being honest, buy some damn fitness cards because they're going to get out of control very, very soon. When people need fitness, the fitnesses go up to 1,500. They, they just go crazy. So let me show you guys real quick on the market. If we go to squad fitness, where they're at right now, because they're probably worth nothing. They're worth 600 coins at the moment, 500 coins. Now, some people are starting to stockpile these for your club, their club. You can tell, right? People are buying these. You can definitely tell, but they're still very viable at 500 coins, right? Now, this isn't an investment. This is just more if you're playing this game, you probably want to get some fitness because what will eventually happen is that these will go to 1,000 coins. Then you guys can make the decision, hey, am I going to take profit, right? Or am I going to am I gonna enjoy the fact that my fitness is half off the market value? That one is up to you guys on whatever one you guys want to do there. I'm sorry. I'm looking at a Sadorf today and I literally, I cannot get the price that I want for him. Also, EA, you guys need to fix the menus. Every time I compare price on a player, it doesn't tell me there's other players. It just tells me there's no players. So I, you guys confuse the hell out of me with these menus. Um, now, it, now it works. See, I don't understand these guys at EA, man. Clowns, right guys? These guys are clowns. Um, the market though, in the top tier today, I believe is flying. We'll have to take a look. I mean, gold Messi is always like right now. Gold Messi is the look in terms of where is the top tier market. So he was one, two, six yesterday. Oh, God. what? Oh my God. He's 1.4 mil. <laughs> Dude, that is crazy. It looks like people are kind of doing their best to get coins week on week for Messi, And once they do, they're just buying Messi. So that honestly doesn't surprise me. I mean, we, we had bought him at, I don't even remember man, but I think we bought him way lower than that price. Let's see. Got him at 117, and I'm not selling them, bros. Don't worry, I'm not selling them. Don't worry, I'm not selling them. All right, so Icon Swap Andy posted today about the pitch notes. Um, Icon Swap Andy posted about the pitch notes. Uh, he says, new title update is rolling out on FIFA 20. So let's go ahead and let's look at some of the stuff that they said are going to be in the title update, guys. I mean, I, I know that some of you guys don't mind this, but this is important, right? Because this is the game we're going to play. Now, this is going to go launch on next week. Now, somebody already told me that there's a lot that actually got fixed from this. They said they were playing on PC and that it's responsive. So my biggest things to hope to see in this today, I haven't read it, is that we get right stick switching fixed. Um, AI gets 
built nerfed uh drop back gets nerfed and they say something about the responsiveness man about the servers the last patch did absolutely nothing besides make keepers better they said it did 12 things and it didn't do anything it just made keepers better so let's look at it gameplay Made a number of changes to legendary AI difficulty, made it more challenging. Nobody complained about that. Um, a number of changes to skill moves. Increased the responsiveness of body faint. The advanced rainbow can now only be performed by five-star skillers. The ball roll and the heal chop will now require the player to have four-star. Players will now be able to use the heal chop turn skill move in combination with other skill moves such as ball roll. Increased the likelihood error uh, with multiple fake shots. Oof. Reduced XSP with the drag back. I don't like that. The drag back's really nice right now. Address the following issue when playing 4-3-2-1. One of the attacking players is being correctly positioned at a corner flag. Some instances of incorrect offside call. That's good. They got to fix that. Sometimes it was taking too long for the user control player to perform a shot or pass following user's input. This was due to the animation selection taking too long to pick an appropriate animation in some situations. This was not related to online gameplay responsiveness. Okay. That is interesting because I feel like it is related to servers, but okay. Um, some situations where it's taking too long to register as a player being in control of the ball. When this occurred, user control players sometimes took longer to execute a pass shot or dribble. Hopefully that gets fixed. Rarely in situations when an opposing player was very close to the user control player attempting to make a pass would not register. After a strong challenge, the user control player would sometimes visually react, causing them to not be able to take part in the play until the reaction had ended. Increase the likelihood that a goalkeeper will gather the ball after performing a slide into a ball carrier's feet. Sometimes the goalkeeper attempted a diving save in situations that did not warrant it. Some situations where the goalkeeper was incorrect, incorrectly rushing out in order to get the ball, then decided to go back to their goal. Um, goalkeepers were performing incorrect animations in some situations. Uh, let's see. Players sometimes running in place when attempting the ball. Some situations when the player was approaching the ball in an effort to control it. Some situations where the uh, player was taking too long to recontrol the ball, let ball animation roll, doing a rainbow flick followed by a chip shot. Okay, let's see what else. Sometimes when performing a ball roll skill move, the ball would unintentionally make the player's content and player... Yes, this needs to be fixed. When attempting to perform a drag back... Okay, that's... The player was sometimes performing a 100, 180 degree... Okay. Sometimes players were losing control of the ball while performing a skill move. Uh, let's see what else. This issue when a player... Da, da, da. I don't see anything about drop back in here. Was there anything about drop back? Drop back. No, there's nothing about... How about AI? Well, no, that's not going to help. There's nothing about drop back, huh? What was the one for foot? What did it say for foot? Um, Is this all going to be menu stuff? Uh, I don't see much about foot. Uh, season objective. Multiple instances where a champs channel replay would desync. Sometimes when viewing a champs channel replay, you'd be taken to a black screen... Uh, I think this is all menu changes. Interesting. Online modes, PS4 only, there's tournaments. Um, that's just audio changes, visual. All right, so it looks like they're they're attempting to make some of the um, responsiveness better. But I, I, I'm not happy that there's nothing about servers there. I would like them to talk about the servers, man. There's nothing about the servers, which kind of makes me a little bit upset. Because I think it makes all of us feel like we're crazy for playing this game. So... Hopefully in the future, EA could put something about servers, man. Maybe like the responsiveness and all that. Because I don't think that the... I do think the animations are messed up in this game. But I think it's a I think it's a bigger problem of the servers. So maybe we can get a word on that. I just want to brief, briefly go over that with you guys, man. Just for a minute. Um, I'll wrap up the upload so it's not too long for you guys today. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have another video for you guys tonight. See you guys then. Peace out.